Hello and welcome back to Spackle. This is Bilal and in this tutorial we are going to create a Spackle application that will generate schedules from your Revit commits. Let me actually show you how the application works. So I have a commit here that has the rooms and walls from a Revit model and this is actually the advanced sample project from Revit. I'm going to copy its commit URL and let's come back to our application. So the first thing users will do is they will paste their commit URL to this input area and then the Revit categories will be listed in this drop-down menu. Once they make a category selection, the parameters available in that category will be listed in this area and uh, this is actually where I will select what I want to see in my schedule. So let's say I want to see the levels of my rooms, their names, maybe their numbers and their areas. Once I click on run, I will get a table containing all the room objects from my Revit model, right? With their names, numbers and areas. I can actually sort them by their level or name, whatever. And finally, we are going to create a button that will allow us to download this exact same data in a CSV file format, like so. So if you want to learn how to create this application using only Python, stick to this video. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's talk about the requirements to follow this tutorial and I'm going to start with the speckle stuff. First and foremost, you must know about speckle and the main concepts of it, such as a stream, a branch, a comet, you know, sending and receiving data, this kind of things. And you should have a speckle account. If you don't have one already, go to speckle.xyz and create an account. You know what? It's free. Don't hesitate to click on register. And this is an important one. Speckle manager must be installed. Because in Python, we're going to use a special method that will take advantage of Speckle Manager and we won't, be, we won't have to deal with the authentication process. So make sure that you have Speckle Manager installed. And obviously, in order to send data from Revit, you must have the Revit connector installed and it is also installed via the Speckle Manager. Let's continue with the Python requirements. Obviously, you should be familiar with Python and comfortable using it. And then we are going to use three Python libraries that will make things really easy for us. First one is Streamlit. So Streamlit makes it really easy to create custom web applications. The second one is SpecklePy. This is our lovely Python SDK. It will allow us to interact with the Speckle server and receive data from it in this case. And last one is pandas. We are going to convert some of our data into pandas data frame and from there we are going to do further analysis. So these are the Python libraries we are going to use. In next step I'm going to show you how to install them. All right, here we are. Let's start by installing the required libraries and we are going to install three libraries. The first one is streamlit and let's install that using pip. I'm going to type in pip install and finally, the name of the library, Streamlit. So I already have it, that's why you're seeing this. And let's continue with pandas. So I'm gonna type in pip install pandas. Same thing is true for pandas. And finally, we are going to install our one and only speckle I'm gonna type in pip install and speckle And that's it. In the next step, we're gonna start coding. 